Hi everyone, I am your tutor Sneha Kevalamani and I am here today to teach you the demo session for makeup and I'm excited. I know you haven't joined due to some reasons, but I would love to show you the demonstration. I'll do it live in front of you. So today's session will be today like much of like a YouTube session or a video which will be recorded and you can access. So there are two participants which haven't joined till now. I hope you access the recordings and it will definitely help. So before starting my makeup or skincare routine, I love to dye my hair firstly very very important so that i can see a clear canvas of, on my face that what's right and what's wrong and i can very easily uh, do the makeup so that the hair doesn't disturbs me it's really important so always always starting with my cleanser first going with the cetaphil cleanser which will help me to you know clean my skin very easily by cleaning my face first and i've just transferred it and I'll just clean my face. So this is a pre-makeup skincare routine which I'm following right now. So firstly, I will clean my face. And till the next. Toner from the Moms and Quite transfer into the bottle so that I can close up my pores. <laughs> so, you know, just fix my um, pore size and, you know, give a little hydration to my skin and I'll just tap very easily so that you know okay so now I'll be doing my now under eyes the under eye cream is from pilgrim yeah, yeah it's amazing it's calling you just have to pump some amount you have to roll on really easily uh, like and you can give a good slight massage This will help to hydrate your under eye really well and to lessen and graying of your under eye makeup. Because if it's well hydrated and depuffed earlier, it will help a lot. So, uh, okay. so this is how I apply my under eye cream. And then I'll just tap it from my ring finger so that it penetrates really, really well. Okay. So this is the hydration of my hand eyes. And now I will use a good moisturizer to give a good base, a moisturizing lotion. I do have an oily skin, but I still feel that lotion uh, texture is amazing on my skin. So I just love to do that. And it's really important to do it on your entire neck and back of your neck, okay? Very easily, I'll just tap and penetrate. Then I, so I am doing this fast because I need to tell you that how easy and quick it is. If I stretch it and all of that, it's going to be a fun. So this is a sunscreen. The next step is to use a sunscreen. It's from La Shield. LA Shield. Especially on under eyes. Okay. I overdo my sunscreen, trust me, because it protects my skin from various environmental damages. So I just love to protect my skin, okay? I'll do it till my skin gets really drenched into sunscreen and I think I'm done. Even on my neck. I think it's evenly spread it. Okay, so now I love to do my lips, which is the lip balm. The lip balm is from Nivea. Okay. It's, it's an SPF lip balm, again, which helps to protect you from some rays and all of that, right? It has some good texture and it has some flavor okay. also. So it naturally gives such an amazing look that, you know, sometimes I just yeah. need it for black lipstick, but this is for more hydration, you know, all of that. Okay, so I have to do quick, right? I, I have to be very quick. I don't slowly do my makeup. So I will be starting with my concealer and uh, you know i'll be applying it very easily i buy brushes or by whenever but i prefer to use blushes uh, brushes sorry not blushes i love to use brush over uh, uh you know sponges or um blenders because i love to do um from uh brushes only that's my Likings, it's just the fact, but many people love to do it with a blender or something. So, next, my step is very, 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 very important the base of the 
makeup, which is to use a primer. This is a gel-based primer from Insight. Uh, it's a three-in-one primer. Primes, protects, and moisturizes. Long-lasting and oil-free. So I do have an acne-prone skin. So it's a gel-based product. If you can see, I don't know. So I'll just apply it quickly to get a good base. You know, and this allegedly makes me feel that oh, there is some coating on the skin, like like under eyes and all of that. Like a silicon coating, Vaseline kind of coating it gives. So I'll let it work for some time so that it sets really well. My nose also under eyes really, really well. I'll wipe my hands first and I'll let it set for more period of time. This is a liquid concealer which helps me to conceal my under eyes because under eyes are more lighter oh sorry more darker comparatively to our skin which is more lighter so it's really important to conceal so i don't have over here like i have over here some mosquito bites so i'll conceal over here and on forehead also i don't have any tanning and all of that so people who are having uh skin complexions a thoda zada dark complexion wherever like around your mouth or below your uh, lip or something you can just use a concealer so this concealer is from swiss beauty and the shade is number one, which is natural shade. And it's very, you don't have to apply much, right? I'm telling you once again. So I, so you can see that this is darker than this. So like this and one drop. Can you, you could see the quantity, right? Okay. This is the technique. So front and back. Now I will just use um, a flat brush from... Um, naked three and i will just place the concealer near my eyes really well okay like very easily it looks yellow i know but it will definitely be corrected by the foundation asap so important now I will be working with my foundation. So this is a flat brush. You could see that I just placed my concealer. You don't need to blend your concealer as of now. On top of that, I'm using my Forever 52 foundation in the shade of, I think, a cheesecake FLF00, FLF011. So 011 Forever 52. This is a natural shade. This is the best foundation. Like, normal to medium to fair tone um, can use this because this has some natural shade which absorbs or reflects your own complexion. So this doesn't have some proper shade but this is a very next to natural shade. So just a second. I will again take a flat brush, pump the product very easily. Many people uh, pump the product into hands and all that, but I don't like it to pump on my hands. I don't feel comfortable at all. I'll use the same concealer brush. I have just wiped it. And I am just using this much foundation, if you can see. So I'm just taking the foundation from my other brush. This is my technique, like this. So I have not concealed my acne because it was not very much. And I want it to look very, very natural, like, you know, even if it shows, I'm happy. I have no issues with that very easily. On top of your this also. Many people do not apply foundation on their concealer, so it's their own choice, but I do that because too, you know, it looks very, very yellow. So I'm just completing. You have to apply each and everywhere and you have to be very quick with foundation. This is a foundation, right? So like this, you have to start dabbing it over everywhere. Now, quickly, 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 I'm taking my fluffy foundation brush. I've already cleaned it. I will just spray the makeup fixer very light, like very, very light. So just wet it, like just like this and done. I'll again take my mirror. Sorry if I'm going very fast, but I have to because this sets very fast. And I need to set it before it sets on my skin.
I haven't applied till on my net, but I will apply it soon because wherever there is less and on net, I'll apply it on later because I need to spread it very fast on my face because this sets very. So can you see, Rosa? Are you there? I think you have left. So this gives me a very natural finish to my skin, and I just love it. Using some amount on my neck area. Because the neck and the face should not look like different, right? So yes, now we are on the same ship. You can see that flawless base working amazing on my skin. Yeah. Very natural. I just love to look natural, even in makeup. I love to enhance my features instead of hide my flaws. Okay, now as I love to do powder eyeshadow, so I always use compact powder to set my makeup. If I used to use a liquid eyeshadow or a liquid blush, I wouldn't have used doing compact powder. <laughs> Now diamond of the excess. The compact is from Lacme. Lacme Absolute Perfect Radiance Compact SPF 20 UVA UVB protection. Very slowly I'll just set my makeup. You just need to set your makeup. Okay. Setting my makeup. Even on eyes because it's cute but eyeshadow stick over. It's important to Fix my just love to do makeup. You can see how confident I am. I just check in front of mirror because in camera I'm in front of mirror, it's two different things. So yeah, I feel it's evenly applied. There's no where much or less Make done. Set it really well. Loving. And now I would love to do my eyeshadow because that's my next step, personal favorite step. I'll be teaching you a lot many things that how easily you can you know make your own eyeshadow. I don't buy eyeshadows. Oh, sorry, eyeliners. Because I love to do my eyeshadows with the favorite color which I want. So I just love to make my own eyeshadow palette. So I take always take two fluffy brushes when I'm doing my eyes because one I use it for like pink to pick color and one I use it for like neutral like white shade. So I'll explain why white because it's important to always place white or like I'm using this shade too. So you can see it's a nude shade very much similar to my skin. So I'm using this shade to give a good base to my under eyes. So it's important, just like compact powder, near to your compact powder, you have to apply a good basic shade. I'm good to go. Now I would like to add a little, very, very little color to my eyes to just give a pink look. Um, so I would give, I think I have many shades, so it's tough. like this is like the lightest pink shade which I love. So I just I just pick very very less color, like very very natural. And so I'm just dampen and blow. You have to very like very very gentle strokes, like just 
Let me even see the difference. I want very less products. I'm just dabbing it, or else you can just place the product first. So you can see. I'll just take my mirror to blend it out really well. Always use windshield wiper motion. This, this, this motion. So just place your product really, really well. Your eyes. Just a second, I'm just blending it out really well. I will feel a little less with the more tall shadow. So I'm repeating these steps again for eye shadow. And, uh, yeah, just taking a small brush too. Let me just take a look. And I love to, you know, just end my eyeshadow thing with my fingers also because I love to penetrate the product really well and like very simply. Yeah. Because it should look very natural, right? I think it's a little bit more over here. I'll just correct it. Yeah, I think I'm done. And it looks perfect. I'll just check in front of the mirror. Yeah, I just feel it perfect. Now what I'll do. Now I know you all love to apply eyeliners. It's tough to maintain a lot of eyeliner colors make wig it sticks right so what do i do a very very good hack i'll be telling you in today's class and uh, so i have many eyeshadow palettes like i'll just show this is from makeup revolution so this is the palette we have the smoky eye look palette and then we have the color palette like entire uh, different stuff color what I can do is I can make my own eyeliner. Yes, and I'll show you how. I just need to choose one uh, color. And I love doing turquoise or blue liner. I don't know if it will be suiting my outfit. But I just want to teach you that how different colors you can, you know, take and, you know, make your own eyeshadow. Because black and brown are very, very common. So we'll make a blue turquoise eyeshadow, which is this shade. Sorry, this. I love it. I don't know how it will look on this this like outfit but let's just try and you can just use your own kind of thing also okay so now i would like to tell you it's really important for an eyeliner you need an eyeliner brush or an angular brush so i'll just i'm just keeping this palette aside it's really important to understand that you have to use an angular brush so this is an angular brush right can you see that you know the tip going like that like a wing so we'll just be making a, not very wing, but like wing eyeliner. What I do, hack. Listen to me very carefully. Take micellar water. Quickly, right? This is a quick process. Did this like this. You know, and just. Now what I'm doing, micellar water may dip, I've, I've taken a dip. I'll just take a few product from this. And I'll just make an eyeliner and trust me, this is the best hack which I have seen on Instagram and followed and I'm never regretting. Always start with the end. Okay, so I'm not able to uh, have a lot of confidence over here. So I would love to do it on my table. I hope it's visible. I hope it's visible. I'm trying. But don't take much of time, right? Just doing it right in front of you. So here is the liner. It's blue. Yeah, I just love it. 
taking more product so you know just enhance the color taken very less earlier taking more for increasing the depth of the eyeshadow color Oh, you can see. Just loved it. See from here. It's a turquoise color. The same blend in on my next eye. Again, taking that color. Yo, this is the shade, and I'm just loving it. And uh, uh yeah, it it lifts, gives good cat liner look. Loved it. This is a hack to be uh, copied and used very easily. This doesn't sticks also, and it doesn't take time to dry also. Very very advantageous. Going very fast with my um. This is the Swiss Beauty cheek and eye palette, which I use to use it on my cheeks for my blush. Using my fluffy blush to you know, just so now I feel to give more earthy look because I don't want pink color. So these are the blush shades. Like you can see, these are earthy. They go very, very, very lightly. So I'll just give a good pout and then I'll just do it because. Or you can just smile. So I'll just smile. So you can see that I just did like one stroke, and I'm done. Now I will use a fan brush. I hope everyone is aware this is a fan brush, and it gives good highlighter. So I'm just picking up my highlighter. This is the highlighter. Loved. Loved. This gives a good dimension also. Like, can you see that? We'll be just applying on my forehead a bit. This is very soft, and I'm gonna be on it because this is the highlighting points, and I'll be using in front of my cupid brow, which is like this angle. This will help a lot to give a dimension. And yes, right now I have done my eyes, cheeks. Now I'll be doing my lips. I just love to use nude lipsticks, and I always, always will recommend you to use your lipstick brush to apply lipstick. Please do that. I have some amazing shades from Swiss Beauty. I'll show it to you. I just love Swiss Beauty for lipsticks because it has some nude shades. And these are the shades. So you can see these are all new, right? I just mix all of them, like mix some. So my puff, my my favorite shade is. Um, I think I have to open this because it's my favorite shade is twenty two. So it's natural, and I mix it with um, like um zero three. So twenty two and zero three are my favorite shades. Firstly. I will. I'm just opening opening the new package. I apply. I'll apply the base one. The base is like the nude shade, like base. Like. Using so much. 
This is a very basic shade. I've just applied this. Now I'll use my lipstick brush. Okay. Spread it evenly. And for the floor, we have to do it. Loving it. Now I'll mix another shade because this is giving very like earthy. I don't want to minimize the shade. So adding a hint of pink or so this is like 03 and it has some natural pink. So it's natural pinkish. Okay, I'm just applying it. Swiss beauty, soft matte lipsticks. I now I'll apply the base shade. Now I'll apply it in the centers to give an ombre look, like two shades. So a hint of pink in the center. I think I have neutralized a bit, like do I need to apply less or more? I think I'm happy with this shade, but I'll still apply it. Okay, just neutralize the pink color or something. I'm happy with this shade right now. I'm just loving it. So this is how I have created my look. You can see the liner also. It's amazing. And and I'm just the last step to be done is to fix the makeup. So the makeup fixer spray. I'm just finding it. Oh, there's a lot of mess. I'll just okay. This is from Miss Claire. Matte finish, long lasting setting spray for fixing makeup for skin type. I just spray it like from far. I let it run. Let it. I just remove this because. So now I think I'll run the perfect makeup. So you can see, and then I just comb my hair also to give that nice finished look. And this is the makeup which I can right now carry at any party or at the one function. I'll just add glitter to my eyes and I'm just loving it. Like, you know, I can even attend a meeting like this. Um, I'll just lower my uh, blushes if I'm at a meeting. And this is amazing. Like, you could see. So I'm going like very, very natural shade. Just fixing the lights so that you can see the natural makeup also. Yeah, so this is how it looks naturally. I hope you have enjoyed my session. And these were the tips and tricks which I love to share with you all. And I'm loving my makeup. I would love to know your reviews. Thank you.